Am I on? Yep. Good morning. Welcome to our service of morning prayer. Um, a change of face again. So you have me this morning. My name's Cliff for anyone who doesn't know me. Um, but it is good to see everybody and the sun is shining. Um, I have slightly changed venue but we are still social distancing um, between us. So rest assured we are following the guidelines. So what you need to have in front of you is your Bible and your green service book. And we're going to start our service on page two. We'll do the Easter greeting whilst we're still in um, Easter time. So, Alleluia, Christ is risen. He is, he is risen, risen indeed. indeed. Alleluia. Alleluia. We're going to say the prayer at the bottom of that page together. We have come together in the name of Christ to offer our praise and thanksgiving, to hear and receive God's holy word, to pray for the needs of the world, and to seek the forgiveness for our sins, that by the power of the Holy Spirit we may give ourselves to the service of God. Jesus says, repent, for the kingdom of heaven is close at hand, so let us turn away from our sin and turn to Christ, confessing our sins in penitence and faith. And we say together, Lord God, we have sinned against you. We have done evil in your sight. We are sorry and repent. Have mercy on us according to your love. Wash away our wrongdoing and cleanse us from our sin. Renew a right spirit within us and restore us to the joy of your salvation through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Father of all mercies cleanse us from our sins and restore each one of us in his image to the praise and glory of his name through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed is the Lord, for he has heard the voice of our prayer. Therefore shall our hearts dance for joy, and in our song will we praise our God. Blessed are you, Lord our God, creator and redeemer of all. To you be glory and praise forever. From the waters of chaos you drew forth the world and in your great love fashioned us in your image. Now through the deep waters of death, you have brought your people to new birth by raising your son to life in triumph. May Christ your light ever dawn in our hearts as we offer you our sacrifice of thanks and praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed, Blessed be, be God, God forever. forever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Today's psalm is Psalm 66. So I'll give you a moment to find that in your Bible. It's in the Old Testament part, probably about halfway through. So we're reading Psalm 66. We're going to read all of that psalm together. Okay. Shout for joy to God all the earth. Sing the glory of his name. Make his praise glorious. Say to God, how awesome are your deeds. So great is your power that your enemies cringe before you. All the earth bows down to you. They sing praise to you. They sing the praises of your name. Come and see what God has done. His awesome deeds for mankind. He turned the sea into dry land. They passed through the waters on foot. Come, let us rejoice in him. He rules forever by his power. His eyes watch the nations. Let not the rebellious rise up against him. 
Praise yeah. our God, all peoples. Yeah. Let the sound of his praise be heard. Yes. He has preserved our lives and kept our feet from slipping. Yes. For you, God, tested us. You refined us like silver. You brought us into prison and laid burdens on our backs. You let people ride over our heads. We went through fire and water, but you brought us to a place of abundance. I will come to your temple with burnt offerings and fulfill my vows to you. Vows my lips promised and my mouth spoke when I was in trouble. I will sacrifice fat animals to you and an offering of rams. I will offer bulls and goats. Come and hear all you who fear God. Let me tell you what he has done for me. I cried out to him with my mouth. His praise was on my tongue. If I had cherished sin in my heart, the Lord would not have listened. But God surely has listened and he's heard my prayer. Praise be to God who has not rejected my prayer or withheld his love for me. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. You need to turn to page 46 in your green books. We're going to carry on saying the song of the wilderness together. So I'll just give you a moment, page 46. And you've got the song of the wilderness. We say together, the wilderness and the dry land shall rejoice. The desert shall blossom and burst into song. They shall see the glory of the Lord, the majesty of our God. Strengthen the weary hands and make firm the feeble knees. Say to the anxious, be strong, fear not. Your God is coming with judgment, coming with judgment to save you. Then shall the eyes of the blind be opened and the ears of the deaf unstopped. Then shall the lame leap like a heart, and the tongue of the dumb sing for joy. For waters shall break forth in the wilderness, and streams in the desert. The ransomed of the Lord shall return with singing, with everlasting joy upon their heads. Joy and gladness shall be theirs, and sorrow and sighing shall flee away. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Our reading this morning is from the Gospel of John. We're reading in chapter 6, beginning at verse 35 through to 40. So John chapter 6. Then Jesus declared, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never go hungry, and whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. But as I told you, you have seen me, and still you do not believe. All those the Father gives me will come to me, and whoever comes to me I will never drive away. For I have come down from heaven not to do my will, but to do the will of him who sent me. And this is the will of him who sent me, that I shall lose none of all those he has given to me, but raise them up on the last day. For, for, for my Father's will is that everyone who looks to the Son and believes in him shall have eternal life, and I will raise them up on that last day. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Just a short reflection about that. When I was reading this passage, the word struck me about the bread of life. And it struck me that at this time of lockdown, we are all having to rely on somebody else, somebody to do our shopping, somebody to to um, pick up our medication. We're relying on our health services, our postal services, our lorry drivers, our shop staff, 
all those people who are keeping the day-to-day -day essentials going and all of those people who are caring for those in need, whether they are in hospital or in a care home or even at home. Everyone needs to rely on somebody else to help them. And here is Jesus saying that I am the bread of life. He's saying that if we need anything, we can turn to him in trust and in faith. And he is there to help us. For anyone who was watching Channel 4 last night, Paul Hollywood had a programme. He's in Japan. And he was talking about the significance of bread in this country. And he was saying, you know, we talk about the next best thing since sliced bread. And then he talked about that we pray, give us today our daily bread. And that man cannot live by bread alone. And actually, Paul's saying, go and get a loaf of bread. That's important to us. But the Bible's saying, go and follow Jesus. Put your trust in him who saved each one of us upon the cross. Because if, if we believe in him, if we choose to follow him, and at this time when we're all in lockdown, we need to keep our faith strong in a loving Jesus. And he will take each one of us through this. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We're going to continue at the bottom of page five. Awake, O sleeper, and arise from the dead, and, and Christ, Christ shall give you light. You have died, and your life is hid with Christ in God. Awake, Awake O sleeper, sleeper and, and arise from the dead. Set your minds on things that are above, not on things that are on the earth, and, and Christ shall give you light. When Christ our life appears, you will appear with him in glory. Awake, Awake O sleeper, and arise from the dead, and Christ shall give you light. We're going to turn the page and we're going to say the Benedictus together. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David, through his holy prophets God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. On the other side of the page, we're going to say our creed together, what we believe in. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. 
Amen. We're going to have a time of prayer. I'm going to start by saying the collect for today together. Risen Jesus, you filled your disciples with boldness and fresh hope. Strengthen us to proclaim your risen life and fill us with your peace to the glory of God the Father. Amen. Amen. Our prayer time is going to be giving you space to think about things. So I'm going to pray for a certain topic and then I'm going to be quiet for a moment for you to be able to offer your own prayers to God regarding that topic. And then we will have our, um, our response. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. So Father God, we pray for our world today. Lord, we pray for peace. We pray for your creation. We pray that your mighty hand is stretched out to reach all parts of this globe so that each and every one of the people on this earth will know that you love them and care for them. Lord, in your mercy, yeah. hear our prayer. Lord, we thank you for all those who are working so hard at this time. Lord, we thank you for each and every person who continues to work to keep our health service, our social care service, our postal service, our supermarkets, our bins empty. We pray for each and every one of them. We thank you for their sacrifice and we pray for continued protection over each one of them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we pray for everyone who has lost somebody close to them during this time. Loving Lord, as we stagger at the number of people who has died, not only in this country, but in all the countries across this world of ours. We think of their families who are suffering, who are grieving, who haven't had the opportunity to comfort each one together as we normally would. They grieve in silence, Lord, but may your peace and your love and your comfort surround each one of them at this time. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And Lord, we pray for ourselves and for each other. Father God, give us strength to carry on doing what we're doing. Give us patience when the frustration of lockdown gets to us. And grant that we may continue to show your love 
to those close to us and around us. We stand firm with you, Lord, as you will take each one of us through this. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Gathering our praises into one, we pray as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Just thinking about an offering for today. That reading prompts us that all who believe in Christ shall have the promise of eternal life. And each one of us knows somebody who doesn't have Jesus in their life. So take a moment, think about somebody close to you, lift them to God and pray that he is working in their lives at this time. Amen. Notices. Um, Katie always does notices. So just a reminder to people that on Saturday at three o'clock in the afternoon, we are continuing our look at Paul's letter to the Galatians. We've done two sessions so far. Thank you for your comments. If you have any other comments, please send them in. I love reading them. Um, and I look forward to that session on Saturday. Apart from that, continue to send Katie and Bill your prayers for the tree, and whether you are praying for somebody, whether you want to thank God for something, it's important to hold on to each and everybody close to us at this time. So let's finish with a blessing. May the peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep our hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of Christ Jesus and his Father God. Amen. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Amen.